Hey everybody what's up hope so you are doing very well in the today's video we will discuss one of the tcs ninja coding question the video is divided into two halves in the first half we will understand the language of the question which is very important and in the another half we will do code okay later but it later now comes to the first half where we need to understand the language of the question the question is saying a chocolate factory is packing chocolates into the packets the chocolate packets here represent an array of n number of integer values now this is the given part got it now the task is to find the empty packets of chocolate and push it to the end of the conveyor belt now those zeros values are the empty packets got it the task is which we need to perform now let's take an example in the example we have a 9 equal to 9 9 is the size of the array we have us nine values inside the array there are three empty packets in the given set these three empty packets represented as zero should be pushed towards the end of the array as we can see in the input and we can also see in the output where all the non zeros values are at the first and all the zeros values are separated and pushed to the end of the array if you can think what is happening behind the scene can you comment down below otherwise we will move further over the discussion and let's take an a small example in this small example we take a six size of the array where we have a values array equal to 6 0 1 8 0 we have a six values inside the array this problem is based on the in place order that means we don't have any extra space to store the non zeros values that means we need to separate all the values in the same array okay now for this problem we assume a array same array same array as empty array that means we have a six places where all the places are empty got it now we have a six places for six places we have a six indexes now the first index of the value is 0 1 2 3 4 5 and the last index is n minus 1 as we know now for separating the values we need a filter why we need a filter because we only pass the non zeros values at first that means we take a filter okay we set a filter in the filter what we write in the filter we write a if statement if array of i not equal to 0 it passes to the array and if it will be the zero it skip now let's take a loop which reads all the values from the array one by one that a loop runs from zero to n minus 1 okay here we set the loop now it's time to take a first value 6 6 is not equal to 0 yes it passes through the filter and goes to the array and set at the array at 0 okay here our pointer is standing the pointer is pointed the first empty place okay now after initializing the value we need to uh, increase the pointer and getting the next empty space so we need to add a statement where pointer is plus plus or increasing by 1 now we check the next value next is 0 0 is not equal to equal to 0 yes so it goes to skip now goes to to the next value next is 1 1 is not equal to 0 it comes to the array and pointer will increase by 1 now comes to the next value 8 and it goes to the it passes through the filter and goes to the array 8 now pointer will increase here comes to the 0 now 0 equal to equal to 0 that means it skip now comes to the next value is 2 and 2 passes through the filter and comes to the array now pointer points to the next value next place sorry that means now we all separated all the non zeros values and initialize into the array now what work will be left the work will be left these all the zeros values as we know all the non zeros values are comes in the array so all the remaining values all the remaining places 
what we need to fill we need to fill a zero values that means all the remaining places we have a zeros so we uh, fix a we write a loop where which runs from the pointer which runs from the pointer because we have a pointer here okay which runs from the pointer to and minus 1 or can we can say that n minus 1 because last position is 6 uh, sorry 5 that is 6 minus 1 so it's time to uh, now it's time to move second half let's do some coding okay so let's go now I'm using Java programming language you can use any uh, one of the programming language like C++ Java Python C but we uh, I am assuming Java C C++ all the three languages having a same code but all the other programming languages having a same logic but code is different so now we, we are taking a Java programming in the Java pro in the Java programming I write a public class main and public static void main this is the default code now so let's start first we need to take inputs from the user so we will make the scanner object and we create the integer n value which holds the size of the array so I will talk to later after writing the code here we write a scanner statement now it's time to create n n n reads the size of the array sc dot next int and now it's time to create an array of size n int array equal to new array equal to new int of size n now it's time to initialize the array now our given part is completed now it's time to print the array okay so for printing the array we also take an a for each loop yeah for loop so we can uh, write same code in the C++ or C okay for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and array of i it is placed inside the system dot out dot print ln now we have a input we have a output but what we need we need a logic okay now it's a reading part or input part or input it's time to do a logic okay what is the logic logic is separating the non zeros values and zeros values so we write a loop which reads the values of array one by one int i equal to zero i less than n i plus plus we separate the non zeros values and zeros values by setting a filter or we can say that a condition if array of i not equal to 0 got it if it not equal to 0 that means it goes to the array that means array of pointer equal to array of i okay where we have pointer int pointer starts from 0 if the values goes to the pointer that means uh, the values goes to the index then it uh, increases okay now we separate all the non zeros values logic of non zeros values now it's time to write remaining all the places filled by zeros okay now remaining places filled by zero for remaining places filled by zero we write a loop which runs from int i from pointer we have a next empty place and goes to the n by incrementing one okay now we write array of i equal to zero that's it now we have a six values that is six zero one eight zero two okay six zero one eight zero two we write one by one six zero one eight zero two it's time to run the code let's see see 
In the output, you can see 6182. All the non zero values are at the first, and all the zeros values push at the end. Let's take a, another example or another input. We take a 9. Now, values we add some 3 more values that is 3, 0, and 2. Okay, it's time to run the code again. Now, as we can see, it is also running in the 9 size. Okay. Hope so, you understand the logic and the code. That's it for this video. Thank you for the listening. We will catch up in the next video. Best of luck. Bye-bye.